football. But uh, you know, you know, you put a five, six, eight-year-old kid at home plate at one of those parks and throw something down there from 60 feet six inches away, they're not going to come back and play that game ever again. No. So, Matt, in the spirit of Junior Golf Week, uh, how do we make golf courses a little more fun for the little yeah. ones? I always say this: we don't teach kids how to play basketball on a 10-foot rim. We don't teach kids how to ski on the double diamonds. Uh, we, we teach kids on little venues and I, I've, you know, I say this all, all the time and I'm, I'm, I'm pleased because places like Pinehurst just built a 789 yard uh, nine hole hey, uh, par, par three course. Yeah. You know, uh, Johnny Morris at Big Cedar Lodge has just opened his second short course there at uh, in the Ozarks. You know, we, we know about Band and Preserve. We know about the Peter Hay right across the street from Pebble Beach. We just heard Gil Hans building a three-hole little kids course at Goat Hill Park. Uh, Milton Hershey, long time ago, built uh, what is now Spring Creek, the juvenile course in Hershey, Pennsylvania, knowing kids needed a littler venue. I hope we, we keep developing little venues because that keeps the family unit uh, cohesive in their uh, experience of enjoying the round of golf. We know about the Winter Park 9 here in, in Florida. I, I, I just love that experience. That's what's working for me. Fun formats on a small venue, equipment that fits, and you keep it fun. If you make it about fun, I, I think you'll leave them wanting to come back, and that's important. I, I love everything that you said right there, and I certainly hope all of those facilities from Pinehurst to Band and Dunes yeah. uh, inspire others to, to jump in and look at building short golf courses. But quite honestly, a lot of facilities just don't have the resources to do that. Mm. So what I'm going to do is propose something. I've got something right over here. Come on, I want to show okay. you. Uh, my friend Robert Laughlin from uh, Golf Solutions has this product right here. It's called, it's called Big Cup. Yeah. And, and there's two ways you can use it, Matt. Um, let me hold this up right here. You can see this grabs a golf ball, and, and it effectively makes the cup maybe twice as big as a normal cup. Okay? So you don't have to be cutting the big exactly, cup. Exactly. You okay. don't have to cut a bigger cup. And so what happens is you can just drop this in on top of a normal hole. The flag stick holds it in. That's one option. And, and the other option is you can take uh, at another portion of the green, you can use this spike and drop it in over here. So you can have people on the same golf course putting to a conventional size hole. Oh, wow. And then um, also the big cup. So go ahead and put one in there for me. Let's see if we can get it. Almost. <laughs> I need do right, they a little, make, farther left, little farther left. Do they make a bigger cup? <laughs> Come on, let me see this. Stop I got to show no. the people Stop. at home. Maybe get a little closer, Matt. I did one right there. OK. Yes. It took him two mulligans. But my point is, uh, with, with your little guy, Bandon, as soon as yeah. he starts swinging a golf club. We could have these in the, the house. The, the first thing that happens is kids figure out how to hit the golf ball and get it going down the fairway before they figure out how to have any fun at all on the greens. And so if you can get them playing from forward tees, and I'm not talking about existing forward tees. I'm talking about put them out at 150 yards, maybe even 100 yards, and say this is a par four. Drop them there. A lot of golf courses will do that. They'll put tees up in the fairway. Make a, make a par three, 60 yards. Mm. Use this big cup, and you can get kids hooked on the game. And that's what I think is really, really important. Get them hooked on the game. Put them out on the existing facility. Give them an opportunity. you got to practice your putting a little bit, buddy. <laughs> Give them an opportunity to, to maybe go out and make a birdie using one of these big it's cups. fun. I've never and seen I think that before. It's, yeah, I think it's something that can actually work. And what, what I'm hearing is green superintendents are really liking this because it, 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 it's not putting big plug holes all over their greens to try something a little bit different. You know, think about maybe you do a little loop in the afternoon late. It's six holes. Families can get out there and walk a little bit, have some fun, do it together. And the key is the kid might say, hey, you know what? I made an actual birdie into this big cup. Got it. Love it. Yeah, really cool stuff. You know who you know would benefit from something like this? Who? Damon. I bet he would have made more than you did. You hit like six of them, and you only made one. Damon, you'd do better than that. Don't worry Look. about it. Don't worry about it. Let's